Hi you guys, welcome back to Inside the Him. I'm Lindsay and today I am going to be sharing with you my plans for September. Um, I've got three things today that I can talk about <laughs> and then I've got three things that I can't talk about, secret sewing, but I'll give you a rough idea of what's going on. Um, so the first are the three things I can talk about. Super excited. If you saw my video on what I made in, Oct in August, October, whoa, um, then you know that I've been working my way through the Sew My Style trying to get caught back, caught back up again. Um, and so on the list are the Megan Nielsen Briar Tee, the Valley Blouse by Callie Fay, and the the Darling Ranges dress by Megan Nielsen. So if I do those three, then I will be caught up through August and I'll just be behind on September's. So that's not so bad. The patterns on Sew My Style are literally an afternoon. You can make them cut, print, cut, so you can make them all in an afternoon. So um, not con it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Um, so for the Briar Tee, I've had this fabric in my stash forever and I've never known what to do with it. I'm 99% sure I got it on sale either when Hancock was going out of business or when like in the Joann's clearance, when the clearance is on sale. Um, but I think it might've been Hancock and we all know that was like a year ago when they went out of business. But it's like a sparkly silver and then a, a blue. It's not really even a navy. It's like a pretty true blue stripe. But I just thought that would be really cute for, I guess it goes this way, for a sweaterish type tee. I love the Megan Neils, the Briar tees that are um, made out of lightweight sweater knits. Maybe it's because Abby made one. Um, if you don't know Abby, she's so Charleston. She used to do the channel with me. Um, anyways, she made one out of lightweight sweater knit, so maybe I can't get that out of my head. Or maybe that's because what's on the cover, the pattern cover, is like a lightweight sweater knit. I don't know. So I have that in my head, um, and I've got this in my stash, and I just can't imagine what else I'd use it for other than a top. So I'm going to try that out of this. Um, and then recently when I was at Joanne, I found this in the linen section. They had a 60% off a regular price item coupon. So I got this with it. I love that it's like chambray colored, variegated stripe. All those things are like my jam. Um, and I'm going to use this for the Darling Ranges dress. The Darling Ranges dress is just sort of, you know, very straightforward, you know, woven, button down dress. It's kind of like a shirt dress, but no collars, no pockets, none of that kind of stuff. So I thought that this would be a good textile for that, given its structure and its weight and all of that. So it's like a linen blend, chambrayish type of fabric. So I'm pretty excited about that. I do have to find some buttons though. Maybe I'll do snaps. Yeah, I'll get some pearl snaps and do snaps instead. Cause snaps are like way better than buttons. Way better. Okay, that's fun. Now I'm excited about that. Um, also, Butterick just released their fall patterns. Um, in it is this Katherine Tilton pattern, which I think is so cute. Although, you guys, I noticed a typo. I don't know if you can tell just from me showing you like this, but these tops are the exact same and they are given different letters. But on the back, you can see that Oh wait, no, that's not true. I lied. I was misreading it. Well, I don't know what the difference between the two are then. They pretty much look the exact same to me. Huh, do they look any different to you guys? Nope. Okay, anyways, so I wanna make this. Um, you need kind of like a heavier weight knit for it. Um, they suggest Sweater knits, ponte, cotton blend knits. Well, they say you can do jersey or interlock, which are lighter weight. Um, but you only need 35% stretch, which isn't a lot. Like most knits are going to have that. Um, and I have one that I got from Cali Fabrics last year. It's like a purpley sweater knit that I think would be really pretty. 
but I kind of want to save that for a more simple pattern without like the tissue hem or whatever the asymmetric hem that that these have um so and I too I'm not a hundred percent sold that sweater knit's the right way to go with those pockets because I don't want anything to get droopy and I feel like if it's not a tighter weave then they might get droopy so in I guess what is September's Julie's Picks which I get that not all of you subscribe to and that's a huge mistake um because she has this really awesome and I'm gonna try not to give any information away because this is super privileged members only information um let's do it this way Julie don't kill me if you can see anything but I don't think you can okay I think I'm good um there's this like gray like a dove gray double it's a jacquard double knit so you can see it's like textured and has like you know some fabric is raised and some is flat and you know a double knit is pretty pretty structured stuff here um so i feel like this would be just a really pretty color um it has the right amount of stretch in it um i feel like it would just be kind of perfect for that but the way julie's picks works is you can't order it until september the first and i'm filming this a couple days before September the 1st so I can't I don't even know if it's gonna sell out by the time I get to it um, so I kind of have my heart set on this but I also know that double knits are not hard to come by um, I know that um, style maker has some or has had some double knits that could work I'm sure fabric.com has some so we'll see um, a note about Julie's picks it's awesome. I've been a member for a year now. I've ordered from them. It's been great. It's awesome if you want to learn about fabrics and touch them and tactile, you know, feel what a double knit feels like. Feel what a chalet feels like. Feel what, you know, all these things are. When anybody asks me, like, how I learned about fabrics, that's how I learned. By going to the stores and looking. And this is a even better way to do that because it comes to you. Um, but get a membership. They're really, really awesome, affordable. You get tons of coupons with them. Um, they're great. I really, really love Julie's Picks. I'll link it down below. Not sponsored, nothing like that. I just truly love it. Um, so that's part that that's an idea that I have for Butterick 6492. Okay, so now the things that I can't really talk a lot about, but you guys will see really soon. Um, partnering with McCall's um, over the next few months to sew some of their patterns and give you guys a, you know my review on them. Um, so the McCall's Fall, that's what to say, McCall's Fall patterns came out this week. Um, so all brand new patterns for McCall's, super exciting. I picked one of those. I can't tell you which one it is or what I plan on doing it with it or anything, but you'll see it soon. I'm planning on posting it, um, the middle of September. So you'll see that really, really soon. Stay tuned. Might get some sneak peeks on my socials. So if you want to go follow me at Inside the Hem on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, that would be awesome. Um, I also have a style maker post, a style maker, the blog tour is coming up. So fall starts on September 22nd. So you guys remember the swatch videos that I've done for her in the past where she basically sends me all her new fabrics and then I have like a two hour long video where all we do is talk about fabric and it's awesome and fun and you guys watch the whole thing which is just amazing. It's like feature length film only about fabric. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing that again and that's gonna go live on the first day of fall, September 22nd. And then the following week will be my, um, my post for the blog tour. So many great sewists are part of the blog tour this year. Lots of new faces that you may or may not be familiar with. So that's really exciting. There's only like two or three of us that have returned from the last tour. So I think that will be a lot of fun getting to know them and seeing their styles. And it's always fun to see what everybody makes. But I have um, an exciting project planned for that. Um, can I just say color blocking? And you guys will be <laughs> excited. Um, and then Saturday, well, no, the week, I guess it would be that same. I'm confusing myself. The style maker thing is going to go live on the first week of October. The last week of September, I have my Cali Fabrics post. 
and if you saw what I posted on Instagram earlier this week where I was asking everyone to vote for like a, a coating fabric and then a tunic fabric and then pick between the two views of the leggings of um, um, it's Vogue 9275. If you saw that post, then you have a good taste of what I'm going to be working on for Cali. I'm not going to tell you which combo I picked. Um, most everybody wanted either B or C for the coating, one or two for the tunic fabric, and 99% of people voted for the legging over the pant. So what did I end up choosing? You will have to wait and see, but per usual, it's none of those things. Um, it's, it's a combination that only a few people picked, but I think that a lot of people will like, if that makes sense. So I'm really excited to make that. So I've got a lot of things I'm gonna be working on this month. Thank goodness we have Labor Day, um, which is a US holiday, right? It's not worldwide, um, where we don't, go into the office or work or anything. So I'll have a whole day. I could probably knock out, you know, two or three of those So My Style patterns lickety split. So um, I'm excited about that. So September should be really good. I'm like fully in the studio, working in here all the time now. It's amazing having my own space. I can't wait to show you guys what the whole room looks like. Hopefully I'll have that video up this month as well. It's not really a make, you know, it's not clothing, but it is something that I created in my mind a vision that I had. Um, so I'm excited to show you how that came together. Um, like I said, I'm in here and I'm working and it's awesome. And I just love having the space and being able to shut the door at the end of the night is just really great. It, you know, and something I never realized too, like coming home from work, you might feel like really motivated to make something, but the drag was always having to pull out all that stuff. And now I come home and I walk through the front door. I say hello to Sonny. I feed him, let him go to the bathroom. And then I just walk in here and then get to work on whatever I want, whether it's something I'm in the middle of or a brand new thing, it doesn't matter. It's just all set up here. Anyways, I'm rambling again, but, um, it's awesome. So hopefully everybody get that video up um, in September, if not definitely October, just a few, few, few little things that I'm still working on, still waiting on a desk chair to come in. I've got to hang some lighting, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so that'll be coming soon. So lots of exciting things for you guys to look forward to. I hope, let me know what your plans are for September. I want to know what are you making? Are you guys still doing so my style? Are you guys making the coat this month? Um, let me know. Let me know what kind of fabric you guys are using for that because obviously I'm going to have to figure out a plan for that. But even if you're not doing so my style, let me know what your plans are. Let me know what you're excited about making. Maybe I'll add it to my list. Who knows? But until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a good one. I'm going to stop waving my arms like this now. Okay, bye.